Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. So I've gotten this question a lot about my new 2023 Toyota Tundra Platinum. John, what is the payload capacity? Well, today we put a crap ton of flooring into the bed of this truck. It's squatted like crazy, so let's talk about that in this video. So if you guys are new to this channel, this is my 2023 Tundra Platinum. It has a six and a half foot bed and it is just a normal iForce motor, not iForce Max. And a question that I know will come up in this video, is my truck AVS in the back? It is not, it is just a standard multi-link rear suspension. All right, so we'll start with the sticker on the door with the gross vehicle weight of this truck. The sticker on the door says that we are at 7,000 375 pounds. So the way you calculate your payload capacity of your truck is you take that gross vehicle weight and you subtract it by the actual curb weight of your truck. So I have not weighed my truck on a scale. So I went to the good old internet and it said that my truck weighed 5,800 pounds. I'm sure it's probably a little bit more or a little bit less, but that is what the internet said that my truck is. So you subtract those two and the payload capacity of this truck is 1575 pounds so what that includes is the people in the vehicle the gas that you're carrying anything in the bed that all adds up to the payload so what we're talking about today though is a bunch of flooring that we put into the bed of this truck went to lowe's and the first pallet that i put into this truck you guys can see it right here in all my notes was 1448 pounds that was the first pallet we did 36 boxes of flooring and the truck itself i wanted to measure how much squat because you guys could see that the squat was kind of crazy so when this truck started from the center of the hubcap to the bottom of the fender liner right there it was 23 and a quarter inches and then when we put the pallet of wood in it it squatted down about three inches to about 20 and an eighth inches uh, from the center to the top of the wheel well so we had two pallets to take from lowe's to our new airbnb that first one being very close to 1500 pounds pretty on par with what the estimated payload of this one was but the second pallet that they put in had a little bit more. So that one was at 1,971 pounds. The truck went up to speed like a champ. Take a look. So the truck had no idea that that weight was behind it, except for the fact that it was like a low rider with the suspension going boop, 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 a little bit because the shocks and the springs did not have the amount of range to soften the ride as we were going from Lowe's to the Airbnb. So aside from it squatting like crazy, the Tundra held close to 2000 pounds in the bed of the truck like a champ. So now obviously I don't recommend going over your payload capacity with the truck from where Lowe's was to where our Airbnb is, it's about three miles, something like that. So it wasn't super crazy. You can also tell too that they put the load towards the back of the truck. If I was going like longer, I would have definitely wanted them to put it a little bit more over the axles. But since we were only going about three miles with the truck to make it easier to unload it into the garage, that's just where I had them put it. But I definitely don't recommend guys going over the weight capacity of your truck, what it's allowed to. And if you definitely want real numbers on your truck, I highly suggest actually taking it to a scale and getting your truck properly scaled out so you know the exact weight of your guys' truck to configure your payload capacity. So guys, that's it for now. I will catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.